Hey guys, Seventh here. This is Ratchet and Clank Future, a crack in time on hard mode, and I'm going for the plat. I just gotta beat General Azimuth and then do a time puzzle to get the last gold bolt, and the plat is mine. Wish me luck. I'm dedicating this to Solid Rev, because he seems to think this is a kid's game, so, you know, kid's games should be overly easy, right? Well, let's go take out this last boss here, and we'll see. But first, I wanna show him... Well... I want to introduce him to a, my new little friend, the Rhino 5. Yeah. Sexy, ain't it? Let's go do this. Now, one thing you guys might not know that little red guy right there, he is actually voiced by Nolan North from Uncharted, the guy that does Nathan Drake. Believe it or not, he can do more than Nathan Drake voice. And here we go! Let's see, I think I'll start out with the Rhino 5. Okay. Now one thing about this gun uh, it's not high up on the accuracy level. For you to do a lot of damage, you have to get up pretty close to your opponent because if you try to shoot them from a distance, bullets are just going to fly everywhere. And even so, you really need to build the gun up uh, for it to do anything real severe. I mean, once you get it up to around level 4, it'll really start taking a chunk out of bad guys. But with Azimuth... He seems to be most weakest uh, to one of my other guns, but I wanted to show off some of the different weapons I've got during the fight, so I'll use it in a little bit. And of course, I've got Mr. Zircon with me. Mr. Zircon uh, cracks me up. I mean, after a while, you've heard all the one-liners before, but some of the stuff that he comes up with, just, you know, a lot of it is references to other movies and things, and it's, it, he's a lot of fun. I like that little character. Okay. Not doing too bad so far. I think I've only gotten hit once or twice. The main thing with uh, fighting this boss is you got to keep moving and use your strafe button to keep moving in a circle so you can keep aiming at him and moving at the same time. And try to jump a lot because he shoots a lot of. Uh, a lot of projectiles that run across the ground, so if you keep doing a side jump, a little somersault, you'll stay away from uh, most of his attacks. And don't even bother shooting at him when he's doing this spinning around thing because most of your stuff will miss. And when you first when he stops spinning and he first uh, he first when he first stops spinning, if you try to shoot him too often, He'll, he'll start uh, spinning his little weapon there and he'll block all your shots. So when you see him do that right there, stop shooting and wait for it to go away and then start shooting again. Otherwise, you're just wasting ammo. So as you can see, I'm basically just bouncing around in a circle trying to keep his uh, attacks away from me. This weapon that I'm using right here, the, uh, the razor saw or whatever it's called, uh, it's the one that seems to take the most damage off of him. And it, you don't have to be too accurate with it because the the blades will seek him out. One of the jokes that I like uh, of Mr. Zircon, this will give you an idea of, of why I say you know a lot of the stuff in this game is not for kids. It actually makes a reference to an old uh, Sylvester Stallone movie from like 1985 or 86 called Cobra. And uh, the reference is, Mr. Zircon says, uh, you are a disease, and Mr. Zircon is the cure. Well, that's a, that's a rip-off of a line from that movie. And, you know, no seven- or eight-year-old kid that's playing this game is going to know what that, where that line comes from or what it's a reference to. But people my age who've seen that movie and grew up playing Nintendo and whatnot, they're going to know where that comes from. So anyway, I got more ammo, so I'm shooting him with the, uh, the, razor, the razors some more. And now I'm going to switch to the rocket launcher, which uh, it does a decent amount of damage in most points. It doesn't really do much against him, and it only holds 10 rounds. 
So this is a thing where it, really you just use it to take a couple of quick chunks off. And uh, whenever you don't see Mr. Zircon, bring him back up because you'd think Mr. Zircon ain't that powerful, but he can actually wear a character down if you can keep him uh, going for the uh, duration. And you get five of him, and then after that you can run and grab a box and it'll give you more. Now, you'll notice Azimuth just smashed that glass right there. That's one of your biggest problems with this level is if you get so into the fight that you lose track of where those holes are, you can accidentally jump into one of those and fall to your death and then you have to start the whole fight over. Now these are the uh, Constructo Bombs. And I've got it set up to where when one of them goes off, it drops a bunch of other mini bombs, so you don't have to be that accurate with it because one of them will catch it. He'll eventually run across one of these and it'll hit him. And you can see his health's going down a little bit. But I already used them all up, so let's see what I can use. I've got more Rhino 5, so let's go back to Rhino 5. Still got 77 health. I'm still in the green, so that's good. Uh, he knocked me down. Come on, come on. He's close. I've almost got him. I see he's knocked another hole in the floor there, so that's another hole that I've got to keep track of and not fall into. I'm, I almost fell in right there. Alright, I think I can finish him off. I think I've got more razor blade armor. Uh, ammo, so I'm going to finish him off with that. Because I can shoot him from a distance with it. Almost, come on. Ah, there you go. Okay, now you'll see I'm on the puzzle, the time puzzle. I've already set it up. No, I did not show the ending of the game because I've had too many people complain about how I'm spoiling the endings of the games for people that haven't beat them yet. So I cut the ending out. I hope that doesn't piss too many people off, but it seems to be the only fair thing. If you want to see the ending, there's videos of it elsewhere on YouTube. But from now on, when I do uh, platinum videos like this, I'm going to cut the ending out. But uh, I am going to add something to the end of it just to fatten the video out and give you something else to watch besides this. These are the aspects of the game that I actually prefer the least because uh, you really have to sit and think about how to get all those little robots right where they're supposed to be so that when they, uh, when they get into all these little chambers, it opens the main door. Uh, this is not something that some little five or six-year-old kid's going to figure out. These puzzles were not made for kids to figure out, let me tell you. So here's the gold bolt. Come on. Come on, okay, bolt collector, okay. Okay, yeah, there it is. There it is. Platinum achieved, bitches. Platinum achieved. Now, hang on. The video ain't over yet. I got something else to show you. Okay, so this is the Raritanium tournament. I thought I'd show some of it to show how good the uh, Rhino 5 can be when you're not trying to fight the last boss with it. Now, I skipped uh, the other 20 rounds to show you uh, how easy it is to beat the Wargrok. Those of you who have fought the Wargrok earlier, you know it takes a while, but as you can see with the Rhino 5, it takes 10 seconds. Now, I didn't, I didn't show the rest of the tournament simply because it's 20 rounds, and it would take up a 10-minute video on its own, so I just skipped to the last part. There. And, of course, you know these guys are pretty much a pushover, but with the Rhino 5, as you can see, it hardly takes any <laughs> ammunition at all to... Uh, set them off, whereas earlier in the game it took a little bit to do each one, depending on what weapon you're in. Almost done here. And there's the Raritanium Tournament. Yippee! So, there you have it, folks. Platinum achieved. Everything has been won. There's nothing left. And here you go. This is for you, Solid Rev. A little bit of fireworks from Ratchet and Clank. This is 7th, and I'm out.